Ah, uh, yeah. What is good, YouTube? It is your boy Orlando it's the great back in action. But no, nah, this is not a reaction, y'all. Y'all today, if y'all have already heard the title, then you know it's gonna be a review or just my thoughts and comments on the recent Demon Slayer Mugen Chain movie. Now nah, I just got back from movie theaters from watching it, so I got some stuff that's on my mind. I just want to talk about it real quick and just give y'all, you know, my my basic thoughts on the on the movie. You know what I'm saying? So uh Right now, if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? It helps me out. You know, you hit that like button at the start. And if you are not yet subscribed and you're interested in anime content, I mean, shoot, stick around for the video. And if you like what you like, then hit subscribe. As always, man, Patreon and everything in the link down below. But it's time to get... I said link? It's in the description down below. But it's time to get to what I'm trying to get to. All right, y'all. And that's the Demon Slayer Mugen Train movie. Now... Listen, I just want to start off by saying that this movie was fire. I enjoyed it. It looked beautiful, and it had me in tears at the end of it. You know what I'm saying? Now, that could be because, you know, I'm big softy or whatever the case may be. Whatever it is, I was crying at the end, okay? Some people, but y'all probably didn't cry, but I did, okay? And that's me. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, for y'all that don't know what the Mugen Train is, I don't know. It's an arc inside of Demon Slayer, you know what I'm saying? So, kind of bridge us into season two of Demon Slayer. Well, basically, y'all, man, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all about the movie. Just a little bit of stuff that I took away from it and, you know, things that I really enjoyed about it. Yes, there will be spoilers, so I'm going to let y'all know right now. I'm going to go ahead and put the spoiler warnings out there. The spoilers is coming. And I'm going to literally blitz through the whole synopsis of the freaking story so I can get to what I really want to talk about, and that is... The Rengoku fight versus the, what is it, the uh, upper, the upper third? Yeah, the upper third moon. So, uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. So, listen, we got, we got my boy Tanjiro, Inosuke, Zenetsu, Rengoku, and Nezuko all on the Mugen train, okay? The Mugen train is basically a train that people and demon slayers have been going missing on. So, they sent Rengoku to investigate and find out what is happening, and they sent Tanjiro and his crew to back him up. They get on the train and stuff, you know, Tanjiro and uh, Rengoku have a brief conversation. We also have Inosuke fooling around, hanging out the window, trying to do all types of stuff, race the train, fight the train, and Zenetsu just basically babysitting him, making sure he don't fall or jump out of the train. So that goes on, and then uh, later on, they end up finding two demons, two, two weak demons that I feel was honestly put there to be as a distraction and to basically clear the name or, you know, clear off suspicion of the main, uh, of one of the main demons that was uh, turned out to be actually part of the train itself. And his name was Emu. He's a, a, a lower moon um, with the ability to make people go to sleep and, you know, have them dream whatever it is he wants them to dream. And in this... Um, sleep state he would basically devour the humans or devour you and it's almost right. damn near impossible to wake up like the only way you would be able to wake up is if you killed yourself on the inside you know what i'm saying so you would have had to kill yourself in your own dream or in zanetsu's case it worked out for him because he's best when he's unconscious anyways and they didn't really touch on how inosuke didn't fall under the sleep spell how he got they didn't touch on how he got out of the sleep spell no actually no he got out of the sleep spell because uh of Nezuko and I'll get into that <clears throat> so they wipe out the two trash demons that are in there and um, and then there's this guy who comes around and he has them stamping their tickets now on the tickets the emu he had fused his blood with the ink so whenever it was stamped it would cause people in that vicinity to fall asleep so by stamping their tickets the the ability activated and they would go to sleep tanjiro's dream was a dream where his family was still alive and he had come back and found them there and was living with them but there were things that happened when he went out to the water his reflection basically was telling him he was in a dream you gotta wake up you gotta wake up you're in a dream you gotta wake up so he went back he didn't know how to wake up and he started realizing after nezuko woke up and she um hit her forehead and started bleeding he could uh, smell her blood a little bit and she also used her demon fire to um basically burn the thing uh, burn a thing that was on his wrist and he felt that fire on the inside and she basically lit him on fire and therefore he seen that fire and was like yo i have to wake up his dad appears son the thing that you need to cut is already in your vicinity he thinks about it he kills himself wakes up from the dream by killing himself he goes up to fight emu and as he's fighting emu emu is constantly putting him back to sleep but as this is happening Tanjiro is literally killing himself 
over and over and over again inside of his dreams in order to stay awake. And so as he's doing this, it's crazy because Emu is starting to realize that this man's Tandro will do whatever it takes to succeed. And he has that resolve to keep going no matter what it is. And we start to realize why it is that uh, Muzin fears Tanjiro so much. It's not just because of the earrings, but it's because of what Tanjiro represents, you know, in that family bloodline and just showing that Tanjiro is a man who at the end of the day is going to do whatever he is, what he needs to do. As long as he can breathe, he's going to keep moving forward. And that is what he continues to do. He uh, ends up getting the upper hand, slices the Emu's head off, but it doesn't kill him. And this is where you find out that Emu actually embodied himself with the train. Now knowing this information, he has to get back. He tries to wake everybody else up because at this point, the train looks entirely different it looks all bloody all over the place and he is trying to devour people but as he's trying to devour people nezuko burns inosuke until he wakes up he wakes up and he bashes through the freaking ceiling and let me tell y'all man this junk looks amazing i recommend 100 percent that y'all go and check this movie out because for me but i get a 10 out of 10 and we cut through so inosuke's up and so he's helping he's helping uh tanjiro fight fight off the demon from devouring people and as they're fighting uh, Nezuko was also helping by doing her part while fighting off the other limbs of the demon and then as she gets captured you already know who came to the rescue my boy Zanessa you follow what I'm saying come through with the thunder clap and let me tell you it was one of the cleanest parts in there but the part that was really clean was when my boy Rengeku woke up and Rengeku bro he was handling it the man's as quick as hell bro like the speed at which he was moving through the train was blowing my mind bro Rengeku is strong as hell the only thing that i do wish is that i wish we had more time um just to be able to learn more about his character and see his development and you know just build a relationship with that character they really tried to build that connection between us and him through this movie and you could feel that and you could try that because instead of it more focusing on tanjiro's backstory um it, it really focused a lot on Rengoku, and i'm pretty sure that's just because they had to sum up this arc including him inside this movie so for that i respect it and honestly they didn't they did an all right job for the amount of time that the movie was but Rengoku, he basically meets up with tanjiro tells tanjiro what they need to do go find the brain the brain is in the front of the train the head is in the front of the train because regardless it is a demon he tells them every demon has a head and so they go to the front of the train uh tanjiro and enosuke wazanetsu and nezuko are protecting three cards Rengoku is protecting the last five so they go basically fight to smash through to get through the defenses of the train and in order to break and then eventually they end up cutting the neck of the demon uh tanjiro gets injured the whole train goes boom 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 boom, 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 boom and crashes okay bam every everyone's alive though no one died though okay so everyone's still alive at this point and there's other there's other points that i that i missed out and ran over but if y'all want to see all the itty bitty details y'all gotta go watch the movie yourself i'm here to talk about this next fight now we thinking everything good, bro. You feel me? I'm saying my boy Rengoku come talk to Tanjiro. Tanjiro then got stabbed by one of the conductors. You know what I'm saying? He tell him this stuff about breathing, and obviously he told this dude to cut off his brain. I mean, not his brain, but to close off one of his veins by breathing so it would stop the bleeding. And for some reason, it worked. I don't know why, but it worked. You know what I'm saying? It worked. Um, and all that stuff was nice and all, but that ain't real. Okay, so, so out of nowhere. We see some eyes appear in the dust, boy. And let me tell y'all, this has got to be the cleanest demon that I've seen so far besides Mr. Michael Jackson Moosin, okay? Because dude was cold. Man's got the smooth vest on, swirly tattoos all over his body, and on top of that, he's a martial artist, okay? So him and Rengoku start talking or whatever, and Rengoku's like, hey, bro, I'm never going to be cool with you. I don't have no reason to be cool with you, and I already don't like you, and I literally just met you. And then so... The dude's like, bro, you're strong. I can make you into a demon and all this. Rengoku's like, I'm not trying to be a demon. They get to fighting, bro. When I tell you this demon is so strong, now don't get me wrong. When, Gre when Rengoku was still cutting through him, like certain pieces, but the dude's regeneration was so fast. Like, he would cut an arm off and just like that, the arm would come back. Like, it was insane. I ain't never seen it. And the dude, the martial artist, so he fighting straight hand-to-hand -hand combat with, Groku's, uh, with Goku's sword. You feel what I'm saying? He deflecting, blocking, punching the sword. You know what I'm saying? Like, they fighting with swords or something. But my man's using his straight hands and limbs, okay? But when Goku's like, bro, I'm not going like that, bro. I'm, I'm about to get hanging with you. They start fighting and moving so fast that Tanjiro and Inosuke can't even make out what's happening. Like, you literally can't even see them fighting because of how fast they they were moving 
and it was beautifully animated beautifully drawn and everything just looked entirely amazing and y'all it was just it was it was just crazy to watch and it was it was so insane and so they was going at it for sure now granted if my mans didn't have a regeneration he had goku would have got with my mans for sure like but he was strong as hell and had regeneration like literally he was trying to cut my man's. He had one. He, he they was fighting at it. He powered up his 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 secret his move. Was really, literally name. I'm I'm stuttering this shit, bro. I'm getting it. It's crazy talking about, bro. He was literally charging up his move. It's called. He named it after himself. He goes to cut my man's head off, but the dude deflect the sword to where it missed and cut somewhere else. He. Twist the sword back upwards and then brings it up through him. But at this moment, my dog then blew his shit out. Like he, he didn't put his whole arm through his chest. Yes, he put his arm through Rengoku's chest. Now, any regular person at this point would have died, bruh. You feel what I'm saying? But then Rengoku has this flashback of like his mom talking to him. Basically, I don't know. You have been blessed with these abilities to protect the weak. Don't ever use them for bad. Don't ever use them to harm humans, okay? And after that, bro, fight. And bro just like, he just turn up and go to another level. So he literally takes his sword, shoves it into the demon's neck, okay? The demon is trying to get away because mind you the sun is coming up okay the sun start coming up so the demon trying to get away because he got to get out the sun's way you feel what i'm saying he goes to try and pull his arm out his arm not coming out so that's not working so he go to punch my dog so mind you i skipped over some stuff like i said y'all skipping over stuff i'm excited i just want to talk about it uh in a fight ringaku had uh his head that got cut up here so blood was bleeding and then on top of that the demon punched him in his eye so he only had one eye right now you know what i'm saying so one eye arm through his stomach another fist coming Rengoku catch it now remember the arm's still stuck in here but Rengoku, Rengoku catches that other fist that he tried to throw at him he is gripping the shit out of this man's stuff while he got his sword coming through his neck okay he's trying to cut my man's head off but the dude's regeneration is just so strong and then that demon is just so strong and so so at this point he's like yo i'm just about to hold him here as long as i can i'm gonna die i know i'm gonna die but i'm just gonna hold him here and it was just a beautiful scene. He was really trying to hold him, but he eventually, uh, so Tanjiro and Inosuke, they grab their stuff and they go to try and help Rengoku. But at this point, the dude just literally broke his arms off, like tore him off, broke uh, Rengoku's sword and was on the way running. You feel what I'm saying? He got out the way and he was dipping, he was dipping. You know what I'm saying? He had to get out that son's way. So he running, th now this part right here I thought was hard too. So he running through the forest, bruh. He running, trying to get away. Tanjiro yelling at him, letting him know you weak, this and that, whatever. Tanjiro takes his sword. Fire breathe. Throw that thing like a spear and catch my man's right here. But you know, he a demon, so that's not going to kill him. But Tanjiro kind of says some stuff to him, letting him know he weak, he a coward, he running, and all this. The dude like, bro, you sound crazy. I ain't no coward. I'm running from the sun. You know what I'm saying? The sun okay. And basically, Tanjiro is just giving it his all to yell at this dude and basically let him know that he lost to Rengoku. And Tanjiro started crying because he already knows what's about to happen to Rengoku. Like I said, he got a whole hole in his chest the size of an arm. You know what I'm saying? And then so... Um, Rengoku and Tanjiro had a last talk that they're gonna have and he's basically telling Tanjiro that yo I believe in you and if anyone can, and if anyone sheds blood for the protection of humans they're all right with me basically talking about Nezuko and giving them all right and it's just a, a touching scene you know what I'm saying because you really get to see Rengoku and you know he's a very charismatic dude he has a lot of energy and a big heart and it was just I, I jailed with that character a lot like a lot of people might not have been able to find that connection with Rengoku within that amount of time but I was able to I like I resonate with his character so much his energy his passion his fire and just his his strength man you know what I'm saying my two favorite elements are fire and water and him being a fire Hashira is like man I already felt liking him a little bit although we had our little this you know our little you know our little head but you know we tried to you know when we first met him but i mean 
it was just it was just an amazing movie to watch it was beautifully done it looks amazing i love it for me it got a, a solid nine out of ten you know what i'm saying I, I if you're a fan of demon slayer anime in general i highly recommend you go and watch it although my review may not be the best review out there's a bunch of other reviews you can watch and basically y'all it's a wonderful story especially taking off after season one of uh demon slayer and you know just to see the little bit of background or just a little bit of character in each person you know Zenet's to dream you learn out you learn a little bit about him he's really obsessed with uh nezuko as we all know uh you learn a little bit about how nosuke's hair works and uh a lot about Rengoku in that amount of time and um i just it, it looks amazing there's not many anime movies in general that look as good as that does like they literally blended traditional uh 2d animation with some 3d animation and um the compliments of both really elevated the movie and um took each took took each aspect to the next level and it was a completely enjoyable experience i went with a few of my friends and uh we all enjoyed ourselves and like i said man i, I cried bro like that rengoku death everyone crying around him it was just it was just it, it got overwhelming to me like even though i knew he was going to die because it had been spoiled for me i still felt the emotion and i still i it was still able to make me cry and anytime i can walk away from a movie like that it, it's truly amazing because i don't just cry at anything yes i know i cried during the endeavor fight but we're not going to talk about that okay that's not what we here to talk about y'all don't want to say endeavor fire i'm telling y'all if y'all really pay attention bro I, I got a soft spot when it comes to somebody that got a fire ability or a water ability those you know, like i'm i physically and i emotionally feel connected to those elements for some reason and i don't know why and so it's just to see characters with those abilities have already put me in some type of relation with them and then you give me their story their background and then you show me that they're actually a good person an amazing person just like Rengoku is and I can't help but to like that character or feel some type of way for that character and um honestly y'all that's how it was during this movie so if, if it's something that you've ever thought about watching or you know you wasn't too sure if you want to watch it I highly recommend watching it and if you have the ability to watch it in a movie theater I highly recommend you go for that experience because it was amazing to watch on the big screen surround sound recliner even though I was up out of the recliner because it was insane even the fight between uh, Tanjiro and Emu it was it was a great fight and you really see Tanjiro's resolve and that fight was also beautifully done and I mean with two beautiful fights it was it was amazing um and I don't know if this how the review is supposed to go, but I mean, that's how this review went, you know what I'm saying? So, um, this movie totally gets a pass for me, and I recommend that you all go watch and see it. It was amazing, and I'm pretty sure this isn't, this video isn't even, like, I don't even know how to explain it, man, but it's just something y'all gotta go see for yourselves and get your, grow your own opinions, because you might not feel the same way I feel about this movie. You might not have the same reaction. You may not cry when dog get offed. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? So... I did, and that's that. Um, I just wanted to talk, come on here and talk about it, man. I, I got more stuff I could say, but it's not really coming into my mind right now. Um, but drop down in the comment section down below. Let's get some discussions going, and let's get a little chat going. Uh, if you've seen the movie or you already know what happens, let me know your input on it. Let me know what you think, and if you are deciding or thinking about going to see the movie, also comment because I, I I'm pretty sure I can talk to you and you can go see that movie okay because it's an amazing movie and I want y'all to see it if y'all are Demon Slayer fans. Um, I don't have much more for this video so I guess that means we have come to the part in every video that I don't like and I'm not sure if you guys like it or not but that is the inevitable end. So you can either watch this video or you can watch this video. But until the next video, it has been your boy Orlando Extra Great and I have got to go. Peace.